protest in New York is in response to Governor Andrew Cuomo's announcement that he's creating a blacklist of any group promoting BDS, the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement targeting Israel. Any group on that list will lose state funding. The BDS movement has gained momentum recently, and so have the efforts to defeat it. We are against the BDS movement, and it's very simple. If you boycott against Israel, New York will boycott you. Cuomo acted unilaterally by signing an executive action and bypassing the New York State Legislature, which failed to pass a similar bill. BDS is a global campaign born out of a call from Palestinian civil society in 2005. The goal is to pressure Israel to comply with international law and respect Palestinian human rights. Its supporters say BDS follows a long tradition of nonviolent movements throughout history that brought about social change. The fight for BDS has largely been on college campuses across the U.S., but more recently, the fight has moved from college campuses to state legislatures. More than 20 states have either passed or are considering legislation similar to New York's unprecedented executive order, all with the intention of silencing opposition to the Israeli occupation. But is any of this even legal? Advocates argue anti-BDS legislation is unconstitutional because participation in political boycotts is protected under the First Amendment. And there's legal precedent. A 1982 Supreme Court case concerning the NAACP found that states could not prohibit peaceful political activity like boycotts. Activists say New York's executive order will be challenged in court. The ACLU slammed the action, calling it an affront to free expression. But in the meantime, the BDS movement is growing, claiming victories like British security firm G4S withdrawing from doing business in Israel last year under pressure from activists. And that has Israel's government worried. Last year, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu allocated $25 million to set up a government agency dedicated fully to fighting the movement. Back in the U.S., the powerful pro-Israel lobby AIPAC has made fighting BDS a major priority. It didn't surprise many to see AIPAC officials standing beside Governor Cuomo as he signed the executive order. Las Vegas billionaire Sheldon Adelson has also poured in millions of dollars in the anti-BDS push. And we do see this, I have to say, as um, a response to the growing power of the BDS movement, as more and more people are recognizing that um, the rights of Palestinians are a human rights issue and that we in the United States have a lot of responsibility for that. So, is New York's attack on BDS a setback, or will it only further galvanize the movement? Mm -hmm.